Hey YouTube, how's it going? And welcome back to my garage. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to do a small install with a strut bar. And then afterwards, I'm actually going to answer some questions in regards to my build. And in the 318 Ti, my cousin's super build and stuff like that. Just to give you guys a quick update. So stick around. <laughs> All right, so I just finished tidying up the garage just a little bit so I can have more space in the garage for other projects later this winter. Uh, but let me show you a quick part that I got. All righty, so I'm just going to give a quick shout out to my friend Jermaine. His Instagram is going to be linked on the bottom of the screen right here. He pretty much hooked me up with this strut bar that he no longer needs. So a big thank you to Jermaine again to just give me those parts right there. So I'm going to clean them up real quick and then install them on the car. Alright, so looking at the strut bar here, it does need a lot of cleanup work, mainly because the corrosion here, it's been sitting in a shed for a little bit, but I am going to probably strip out this layer that's this weird carbon fiber laminate. It's already chipping in most places anyway, so I haven't decided on the color yet, but let's just see how this cleanup process goes. Alright, so I got the strut bar completely stripped of the original laminate or carbon fiber laminate that was on this. So I actually am probably going to keep this finish. I was originally going to paint it a different color, but I'm going to take some higher grit sandpaper and actually go along the length of the strut bar again just to give it a nice brushed aluminum look. Alright, so I got some POR15 brushed onto the bracketry. I'll probably end up redoing the paintwork on those anyways. I just wanted something down on them just to prevent the corrosion. Uh, same with these here. I'll probably end up probably just either polishing these out with some metal polish to prevent corrosion. But anyways, gonna let the paint dry now. Alright, so the strut bar is looking pretty cool. And while the paint dries on the strut bar right now, I'm actually gonna start answering some questions in regards to my Turbotrod G36, 318 Ti, Supra, and whatnot. So my car is not an M3, and it's a common misconception that people have always asked me, mainly because of the M3 bumper, which is understandable, but my car is a 1995 325i convertible. So the motor is also not from an M3, it is an M50 B25TU, so that's Venus motor 2.5 in line 6. So my car makes 341 horsepower, and that was recorded on a Mustang Dyno at ESP. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of their shop right there, and Miller Performance tuned it on 14 PSI. So a lot of people ask me whether or not I have a turbo kit on my car and what would they recommend. So definitely check out my cost analysis video where I give you a bunch of options which you can apply to your own E36. But essentially to sum things up, again, I only use the CX racing kit that's available on eBay as a template. I pretty much looked at all the parts in that kit and then found out and sourced out all those custom parts that I wanted to use in my personal build themselves. The only things that I kept from the kit were the actual T3 manifold and I actually used a universal 3 inch piping kit in order to custom fab uh, my own intercooler piping which would complement the Miller Performance tuning package correctly. So because of the fact that I'm very happy with the way the car performs and handles right now, I'm going to start focusing on the actual exterior of the car. So I'm reaching out to several companies at the moment just to see what's available and what I can do to bring you guys an awesome set of installation series to look forward to for this winter and in the spring. So something to look forward to for my Turbo E36 is mainly, I'm still tidying up the interior as you can see here. I'm actually going to open the door and then... You can see that there's all these interior trim panels that I still got to reinstall in the car. These air lines that I have to work with and tuck properly. And then also in the trunk, you can still see there is still a lot of stuff that still needs to be done, mainly to make everything look pretty. But that's stuff that I'll be probably doing this winter. So the reason why you guys haven't seen a lot on the 308 Ti mainly is because we have tenants living in the house next door and basically there's a lot of storage that they're using uh, in the garage space right now for just winter storage in general. So I can't exactly work on the car in the garage safely, uh, especially because I wanted to do fab work and metal work in the garage. So I haven't forgotten about the 308 Ti, it's mainly just all planning and sorting out what to do with the actual garage space and then content will come afterwards. 
So in regards to my cousin's Toyota Supra, we also haven't forgotten about that build in general. Um, basically, right now he's looking for a 2JZ motor, and I think we're planning on picking one up in New York pretty soon. Uh, otherwise, he's got most of the parts that we need in order to start this awesome build that I've been looking forward to for the past couple months. So in regards to my 2017 SI, I don't have any priorities in regards to modifying the vehicle at the moment, mainly because I already have two BMW project cars and I had purchased the Civic in order to have a really nice, reliable daily driver for my day job. However, come springtime, I do want to kind of modify the aesthetics just a little bit because I do have some styling stuff that I just want to use to personalize the car to my own taste. Stuff like small lips and side skirts, maybe wheels and tires, brakes, I don't really know. Just to kind of pep up the performance just a little bit. I don't want to do anything too serious to the car, again, mainly because I want to keep it as a daily driver and I don't want to fall victim to that case where I get a daily driver and then I need a new daily driver and you guys know how it goes. Alright, so now that everything is pretty much dry at this point, I'm going to start piecing everything back together. All right, so the strut bar is installed. I'm pretty happy with the way it all came out. It actually looks really, really nice. I think the strut bar complements the other parts in the engine bay pretty nicely. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the way this all came out. And I think I spent a Sunday afternoon pretty, pretty well, just tidying up the garage and then throwing in the strut bar. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little installation and the updates that I have for my two BMWs and the Honda Civic Si and my cousin Supra. So please like this video if you guys enjoy what you're seeing and feel free to throw a comment there if you have any advice or recommendations in terms of upgrades and mods that you'd like to see on the channel. Regardless, hope you guys have a good day and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. So